Hey everybody, it's Miss Batty here, back with lesson five in our series on matter and energy in ecosystems. Today, we're really going to dive into understanding how carbon in global ecosystems or closed systems like the biodome can be found and tracked. What you're going to need for this lesson today is a piece of paper to jot down some notes, a pencil or pen, or if you have access to a Schoology lesson or handout from your teacher, now would be a good time to go ahead and get that out. Something that's always recommended, if possible, is for you to find a family member or a friend to message or text over the next 20 to 25 minutes so that you can share ideas and ask questions. And it's just more fun to learn with someone else. We also are going to be using the digital model in Amplify today. So if you have access, now would be a great time to open that up. In our last lesson, we figured out some really important things about what can be happening in the biodome. Let's hear from Dr. Corey about your responses. Great work, student ecologists. The Econauts have not realized that a change in the population of decomposers could have had such a dramatic effect on other organisms in the biodome. Remember that we saw in the graph that the amount of decomposers was really decreasing around year three. Before they plan their next biodome, they have one more question. They want to know what happened to the carbon that used to be in the air of the biodome. We know that the decrease in the decomposer population caused the carbon dioxide in the air of the biodome to decrease. But the Econauts need to know what happened to all that carbon. This is your last mission for the biodome investigation team. So we're hoping you give it your best. So if we recall, we know that the decomposers were decreasing, if we take a look at this orange line, um, around the first three years that the biodome was existing. We know that the decomposers are a really important part for producing that carbon dioxide, right? Just like the producers and the consumers, they do this process of cellular respiration to release that carbon dioxide that is so important for the producers to do photosynthesis. Now, it's very clear that the decomposers decreasing did in fact have an effect on the amount of carbon dioxide that was produced. And so we are wondering, where is all of that carbon? If it's not being changed into carbon dioxide through cellular respiration, where are all those atoms? Today, we are really going to dive into that question. And to do this, we are going to start off by thinking about this question of what happened to the carbon that used to be in the air? Where is it in the biodome? What I would like you to do is make sure that you get down on paper, on your handout, on the Schoology lesson, your ideas for where this carbon is. Is it disappeared or destroyed? Has it been used up? Or is it somewhere else in the biodome? What are you thinking at this moment? 